<laughs> Sorry, man. Right. Let me confide in my notepad. I have a lot of shit in here. My God. First of all, we are fresh out of war with Hydra. And I think it's fair to let everyone know that the gang account is currently tremendously down bad. So work rates are going to need to be through the roof at the moment. Because we have no money in the account, really. And just in terms of the influence in the area, we're behind as well because of the war. Anyone that doesn't know, the influence on a computer isn't scuffed no more. So we can get influence by pushing weed and doing roof runs and oh, doing is it not? things. It's not. So the way it works right now is we can get our daily limit to 50. We can up our area rep, but the little like tree thing where you get the points is not working. So oh, okay. just ignore that, but we can bring up the area rep. And I think we should keep it higher because we don't know like in terms of people coming to take over turfs and stuff like that, how that's going to work. So we just need to make sure that we're pushing doing roof runs, doing chops just to get the rep up because we are quite behind. Like there's turfs that are like a quarter of our size run by some smaller groups and they've got nearly like 150 more rep than us. It's just because they're not going jail though. That is the other thing. When you go pen, it takes a massive knock to your influence. So we need to be making sure we're not getting arrested because we was at 170 yesterday. And then after me, Dre and Luke went pen, we was at 120. So like uh, you lose a must, lot of influence when you go pen. Because I'm not on the IDAR app. So surely that it, my shit don't make a difference. I'm not actually on the app. Yeah, so it was just me and Dre then. But it, I don't know how much it is exactly, but going to prison is like a big hit on the app. So anyone that's on the hideout app needs to be moving diligent and not getting caught. Go to jail three times a week, you're off. Does, does, that, does that turf shit, is that like similar to Weed Rep on HQ app where it's like compared to the top one or is it like just a fixed There's thing? no, thus far, there's no signs of like benefit to be in the highest area. But I wouldn't be surprised if, for example, we were a group that didn't have a turf, right? And we go look at the map and we go, right, this area has the lowest turf rep. This one is now counterable, you know? So I want to make sure we're top. Obviously, there's going to yeah. be people that are going to be pushing it daily, 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 but we need to be top three minimum so that we're in the clear on that. I reckon level will be related to the points as well, to be honest. Like the way you get the points. And you yeah. think? I don't know when the points is going to become a thing, but I think it's citywide. I don't think anyone can get points right now, so it's not just an us thing. Like, you can progress the area, but not, not the points and shit. Yeah, I spoke so, to another group. That's confirmed. No one's getting points. Well... The okay. two groups I spoke to aren't anyway. That's good to yeah. know. But yeah, so weed needs to get moving. We should have weed today, right, Els? Yep. Yeah, so if people want to put in orders, obviously That's shout your Lukes, hey, shout mm -hmm. your Kennys, shout your Steve, shout your Mees, and we'll get you sorted. Um, also, don't be offended if you wake up one day and you're all of a sudden not on the Hideout app. That app is getting cycled like pretty much every day. If there's someone who's not around for a few days, like they're probably going to get took off and replaced by someone who can push for those few days. And then when they come back, they will get put back on. It's just going to be like a cycle, to be honest. So if you're on there and then you're not on there, just ask to be put on it and we'll cycle you around. Anyone can put you on though, right? Yeah, it does, you don't need... You, anyone can, you can kick put yourself or on it. add. You can do it yourself, yeah. If there's a slot on there and you want to go push, feel free to just add yourself and go push. But... Right, okay. If it comes to taking people off, if you if you're like looking to remove someone, make sure you speak to me or Steve before you do it, just because you don't know if that person's been grafting or whatever. It takes three days to get back on it as well. Yeah, there is a cooldown. Because I got booted. And what I if push. it's a pusher and it's not actually someone that's in the group? Doesn't matter. I'll be real. I don't care if you're manner or not. Whoever pushes the most will go on there over it because we need the influence. So if there's someone like Raj and he's doing more than me, I would rather have Raj on there than me. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let me get to my notepad. Where where do I want to start? Um, I'll get the uh, I'll get the, the 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 fan favorite out the way. So gang tax. About a week or two ago, we had a whole conversation about the the, the group pushing thing. We just sitting in the box. People weren't pushing it. You all basically said you'd rather just pay X amount like we used to do, then have to do the weed thing, right? So I'm going to bring that in from Monday, but I want to 
bring multiple options. You know, there's a few ways we could do it. We can either do it how we used to do it and we just pick an amount and it's just every Monday people pay that. And then if they miss it, they'll be chased up, that kind of thing. Or we can do... I don't know how I feel about this one, but I'll say it anyway, just so that it's out there. There's James put forward the idea of every day that someone wakes up, they just chuck a grand into a pot. So then it's done based off who's a, whoever's around more will pay based off how much they're around. So the people who aren't around a lot don't suffer from it. But I don't know how I feel about that one. I think I personally prefer the weekly shit. What do you lot think? What would you rather do? Uh, I prefer because some people aren't around as much as others, so they don't get that much time to uh, make I'll money. I'll be real out. with you, yeah? I'm not I like, like... The, I like that if you're yeah. awake, uh, how many days a week? So if you're awake three days a week, you just pay three days of a tax. If you can't make it for certain days and you're not making any money yourself like, by not being awake, you shouldn't have to just like run yourself into debt paying a gang tax, bro. It depends how much it is. If it's only like 5K, I don't think it'll be that bad. Yeah. I would say Even with Even for this... people aren't around that much. With how much you can make now, I don't think it would be, have to be more than five grand. I think five grand's Bro, it'd be minimum very, 10, very I'm easy. I'm be honest. I, I, think yeah, every week I was thinking 10 to 15. For every day you're awake. So if you wake five days a week, you're paying 10K. If you awake all week, you're paying 14. If you're awake for three days, you're paying six. Yeah, but some people in the gang wake up and don't even check in with anyone. So how are you going to know they're awake? Well, just surely you'd just pay it and not be a dick. You know what I mean? Like, like, you know what I mean? Just go into a fucking shop and just chuck two grand in box when you wake up or before you go to bed. Very, you don't that, pay that's up. my, my, what I don't like about that is it makes it very difficult to track something like that. Yeah. You'd have to like spreadsheet the fuck out of everything and people would have to tell you like when they're awake and then it's like. Or they can just send it to one state ID and you can see the bank transactions. You can't see who sent oh, you shit. I can't see who it is, so. Just oh, a can't? random transaction, yeah. No. no. Uh, it does show an account number. So if you yeah, it shows an account, account number. number the, the issue more. I got with that, if it's someone's bank record ever gets subpoenaed, that's... Oh, yeah. Whoever that is, is fucked. Or just have someone who's around, at, you know, 99% of the time to just collect it on a daily. Yeah. But for simple, for sake of simplicity, you're better off just collecting 10 grand off everyone every Monday or whatever the set fee is, rather than... I agree. That sounds like some I think the thing. process yeah. that might be better, right, is you do weekly... But if someone's not going to be around for fucking, you know, they know they're not going to be around for five days. Putting it LOA. Just go in and yeah. go to me and Steve and say, I'm not going <laughs> to be around break. for five days. And then that would just get noted and then it would be deducted from a week or something like that. Because then it's just, we can keep track of that easier. Like in terms of... But, but, I mean, if they... I, I, mean, so I was going to say, if they know they're going to be away, then they can just pay... <laughs> like, they can just, like, if I know that I'm not going to be around next week, surely I can just pay an extra... Book a holiday, like, bro. Not... I mean, fucking, I probably make the least money here. Ten k is not a lot. I mean, I made, I made thirty k yes in about an hour and a half, bro. Like, it... yeah, money's piss. I just don't mind. Like, if people are gonna not be around for a prolonged period of time, I'm not talking like you're not around for a couple of days. I'm talking like if you're gonna be gone for a week or whatever. Like James this week, for example, he's gone to Friday. Yeah, yeah like if someone's taken, if someone's going on holiday for a week, I don't care about them skipping a week of gang tax. Like, I feel like that's pretty fair, even if they can make the money. I, I'm not against it. But would t so what? Ten k people would think is calm, yeah, because I don't think that's hard yeah, to make yeah. in a week. Yeah, I'd mm -hmm. go ten k for sure. Easy enough. Cool. So if I was to put that in play from Monday, everyone would be prepared to drop a ten k on Monday, yeah. 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 I'd probably drop it here today because I might not be around on Monday. What will the accent be? What would the accent be? Nah. <laughs> who's uh? Who's I'll monitoring the spreadsheet? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, the, the cash? that leads to the next point. Um, me and Steve spoke. We dabbled with the idea of this blondie, depending on how you feel about it, of being like a treasurer so that you can keep track of things like that because you're probably one of the most organized people we got Absolutely. with shit like that. I'm down. Okay, Family cool. Cares. So you we would, can... that would involve, I, I would like it. Obviously, you'd, you'd, you'd be running it, but the way I see it roughly, it would be like a spreadsheet that'll track everything in and out everything. of the gang and mm -hmm. the money the gang money will be put in a spot that maybe only me sparky and you have a, have direct access to or maybe one or two more but nothing crazy because at the moment about 15 people have access to it so people could be not saying people do but you know people could be skimming money off that and we wouldn't have a fucking clue because we literally have zero idea where the money comes and goes right now i've been skimming for months <laughs> what <laughs> Fair. Just let me know what you just said yeah we'll 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 sort that out as 
now we know that that's something you want to do. We'll get it sorted. Um, so other thing, finance related, opens Notepad. Hold. Um, we're selling the forum house. That's what I was looking for. Uh, we're going to sell the forum house to Saints because Saints are wanting to like hold forum as ends and they're trying to buy up the whole street. Now the weed system has changed. We don't need two grow spots. So we're going to sell that and probably keep the money. But we're on the lookout for a potential like, it sounds shitty to say out loud, but like a, like a, like a stash war house where we can park three cars and store all the guns and stuff. Because a big issue we had with Hydra, right, was they knew where we were resupplying. So as soon as you wake up, it wouldn't be hard for them to just stake out where you go to get all your shit. And then you're into the, a scrap before you're prepared. So we, we just need an armory, like off-grid somewhere, like Sandy or Grapeseed. But we can go do that. So if people keep our eye on the real estate app, if anything comes up, it's decent. And that's got a free, like, free car garage. Let us know. We'll, might buy that. Because that would be shit. beneficial. Um, so yeah, I don't think anyone's got anything in forum. It should have been emptied out. It's, so. It is, yeah, it's emptied. Yeah, it's emptied. No so one's if, got any cars if, parked there or anything, no? No. If you can wake up there, don't, because there's no way to get out. <laughs> it's, it's, that shit empty, empty. Oh, it's like hollow, hollow, <laughs> yeah, right? that shit's empty. Okay. I left two floors there. Yeah, but there's no way of getting up to the door. You can walk in the door, but if you wake up on the bottom floor, you're fucked. Oh, someone must have changed it, because I left away. Can't you just move the panel and then put the original stairs in? Yeah, yeah you can nah, do it. The, the owner can. The, the, owner, let, yeah. like put the, the owner has to do it. Yeah, oh. she'll also have to be the one that needs to sell it. It might be worth me getting her to sell it to me, and then I can just sell it to Saints. Uh, um, on that, I had a chat with the Saints. Uh, they done this whole monopoly deal. They got Hydra's can forum you, house. Can you speak up? Bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got Hydra's forum house, and in return, Hydra sold them a load of the new places on the Azteca block. Or gave them places on the Azteca block, and then Saints sold the Azteca houses to uh, ADMC. So ADMC own five properties on the Azteca block, but do not own the turf. See, I got told they own the turf. No, Black oh. Lotus own the turf. Nah. ADMC oh, own the turf. Oh. Black Lotus is devious. So there's either going to be some agreement between them or a war to figure that out, but... All I'm saying is Saints bought some of those houses for like 180k and the ADMC bought them off the Saints for like 400. Ugh. So yeah, I don't people, think it's beyond scalped. the means of, 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 of unfairness if we ask for 400 for that foremost. I don't know yeah, if you agree on the price. Yeah, I think they got price, money but... as well. I, I was going to say around 400. I said 350, 400 ideally, 350 lowest. So we paid 250. Sorry. Yeah, ask, ask for oh. yeah I, 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 I was going to start with 450 and just see where they go to be honest. Yeah, four fifty. Um, okay. With the whole armory thing, we have quite a decent amount of guns now, like rebuilt, and a good amount of mags, but we're still very low on ammo. So, Sani and stuff like that. If you want to go run Sani, we need that heavy. If you've got people who you can buy materials off at a good price, we need that heavy. We just need a shit ton of ammo because we probably got, I don't even know how many mags that just ain't got bullets in them, but a lot. So we need them loaded up. We just want to, after the Hydra War, it kind of made us realize we want to just be ready to, no matter what kicks off, we're ready to go. So if someone comes here in 15 minutes and decides to start a war, we can literally go gear up and just be ready within 20. I'm saying it right now, with our current situation of bullets and guns, if we get put into a war right now, we're fucked. It doesn't matter who it is, we're going to have to fold. And I'm saying it now. So anyone with an ego right now that isn't prepared to fold to the Vagos, I suggest you pull your finger out your arse and get to work. Sanitation. Otherwise, it, that's going to happen. Yeah, I think we'll be good. I think we'll be fine. Probably. Um, opens notebook. So, the people who need to be here for this probably aren't really here. But I'm going to bring back DLD. Huh? and allow it to take oh. place, but there is going to be new conditions to DLD. Um, I don't think everyone is, but I think a lot of people in this group are very dependent on other people to do things creatively, and will just wait until someone comes up with a half-decent idea and just latch onto it. 
DLD, like at first, was like, I feel like it was decent. But it seems now it's just like, a, I don't really care what I even get from these people. I'm bored. I'm just going to default to go robbing any activity I see because like, I like the buzz of it. So DLD is going to be allowed on the premise that you actually put effort to coming up with a plan and you do shit creatively. Like, for example, how Luke's been doing his pirate shit, right? If he can't, actually, if, I would just it, like to put you in and say it's Trey's idea, but thank you for, okay. for bringing it up. W, w, you, you, you know, you didn't air him out there. But yeah, like stuff like that. Like if you're going to do DLD, I want to wake up and be hearing about a robbery that took place where you fucking use spike strips across a main road. You was disguised as a fucking bush. You hopped out, you robbed someone, you did it in a madness. I don't want to wake up and hear, oh yeah, four of our people went and robbed this guy that does <laughs> Sani for so and so and just shot them. And that was the end of the story. Like <laughs> It's just fucking shit. Like it is just shit. And if that happens, it will just be banned again. So like the only way DLD is going to run is if people come up with creative and, and cool plans of doing it. But that doesn't mean, okay, you've got a sick plan. You can now go rob anyone. You'll still have to pick and choose. Like if people are affiliated and they're people we fuck with, like you don't touch them. Like Hydra's people, you do not touch them. Like anyone that we've got agreements with, you don't touch them. And if you're even doubtful about the situation, just don't send it. Like it's, it's not hard to just say, all right, we'll leave that one and go for the next. Like, I don't want to be waking up to constant issues of people being shot and robbed when it doesn't need to be that straightforward. So creative plans allowed, being bored and going and robbing everyone in sight, not allowed. Make sense? Yeah. Yo. That sounds lovely. I might use um, a gardener and good out barrio. Also... <laughs> I want that for heists as well. Obviously, at the moment, we're in a bit of a financially shit spot, so we do just need to get money. But once we've got the gang fund up, I want to start, you know, putting effort into heists. That's something Solomon can help with as well, is like, you know, having 25 minutes before you go do a heist where you all come meet up here and you actually lay out a plan and you do something a bit more long-winded than just you hit the bank, you car swap, you get away, then you go do something else. And obviously, until we've got money i get we just need to get the money out and not be risky but after that let's do plans that aren't just going to be dumb and get you instantly caught but you know saying fucking interesting saying that cops will be like yeah whenever the man robs a bank it's always actually fucking they have crazy plans and shit because it's just like it. better like for it. everyone and then on the topic of the bank stuff and having better plans currently 90 percent of our heists are heavily reliant on james which you know is great james is a great hacker i want to make sure we got people who are learning how to hack and and trying new things so we're gonna we're gonna try better to rotate sixes and put people in the right spots to be able to try and learn hacks i think we're gonna do a maze bank this week while james is away without james there so we can bring you know just people that that can try and learn it but I'm you can start by doing it through Chop as well. Chop's a good way to learn the keyboard one. Bro, I'm, I'm telling you now, yeah. Honest, James doesn't oh, let sorry, anyone else do any hacking when yeah, he's James about. is not here, bro. Guys are bro, uh, do you know what I mean? I was going to say. Right. If, if I had a chance that, yet, bro. and I'm sure Matt would be the same yet, if, like, there is a few people here yet that, w that used to be skilled hackers, yeah, that if they actually got a chance without James saying, no, I'm doing it, you'd be able to see that a lot of people here will be able to do what James can do, bro. I admit it, don't get a chance. Well, well. So I will, I will defend him a little bit here because the last job that I did with him, he did let me do it. And I know it was only lockpick thing, but he let me do it. And I actually had a conversation with him the other day regarding that. Uh, and he did say that he'd be willing to let people try, providing that they start at the lower levels. So that's going to be things like chopping, you know, lockpicks, the roof running, whatever the fuck, right? He doesn't want people to just go straight for the the end goal, which I understand. Yeah. And I do also, I, listen, I don't disagree with you that he does. I, I think with James, it's one of those where he likes being the guy. You know what I mean? So yeah, he obviously does. he doesn't He doesn't want everyone to be the guy because then he's no longer the guy. But he said that he will let people do it, providing that they do the other stuff first. He wants people to show interest in it. I spoke to him about it too. He wants people to show interest in it and he wants people to start at the bottom the way he had to and go shopping to learn that hack and then do laundromat to learn those hacks and then do cash exchange. 
and not just rock into a maze bank for the first time and expect to be let try everything yeah yeah how many people have um how many people here have done like the cash exchange memory hack or tried it me i've done it i've me. one banged it because i feel like that's a good one to like a uh laundromat is like a really fast lot pick which yeah that's the one i did it's good if you want to practice that but i would say in terms of like the banks we've done so far cash exchange has more stuff that you'll need for yeah we need more people that can do the, the pnys that's the that's the one thing we need the most so and that's how much coin is the cash exchange uh 100 for the contract so, so 125 if you use a tier one once 125 one thing i can put on the table as well like if people want to practice say someone is really interested in being able to do a cash exchange as long as you know we don't have a scheduled one for the group or something like that if someone wants to learn and says you know what i'm just going to chuck 20k i'm gonna buy the buck coin and do it on the computer get a six together fucking obviously the the profits from it will still have to go to the gang account but like if you want to use it to practice there's no harm in buying the buck coin and just sending it and then you won't you know, yeah, feel also, like you're if, losing if, the game. If that's backcoin. what you're doing, if you're buying Bitcoin to do a job like that and you successfully do it, then just pay yourself back for the Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah. Out, of the, out of the, like the fucking money. Yeah, that's a good I point. will say as well on the hacks, just go and learn the chop pack. We've done Maze Bank, Cash Exchange, and Laundromat. All of them have required the chop pack so far. Like yeah. it's definitely worth um, different, just learning. Different levels yeah. of, of difficulty, to be fair, but yeah. Is the chop hack yeah. similar to the, to the smoke crack? But just a different no, system, no, right? no, it's way easier than smoke crack. A it's way easier, easier yeah. It's, it's only QWE, QWE or ASD is the only letters you need. Wait, is it uh, what's it? Fucking DDR? Or oh, no, 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 no. Oh, not, not really. Up. It's similar, but it's easier because you see all okay. the letters. Hard to explain, but when you see it, you like see it the it first time, you like meh, and then the second time you'll get it. But okay. like um, all of the jobs we've done so far need it. They just have been like longer. But that's mm -hmm. all it is. It's the same hack, just more letters. Okay. So like, that's always okay. a good hack to practice because it's needed on all the jobs. Yeah. Bones had his hand up as well. What, what was you going to say, Bones? I was just going to say in defense of James, last time we did an ammo crate with him, he let Matt do the hack. So just... <laughs> I had to battle for it. Yeah. He only let me do it because because Sparky said to. Like, well, I, I'm not against I mean, James though. doing a lot of hacking because he is very good at it. You know what I mean? If it weren't for James, we wouldn't be nowhere near where we are in terms of our eyes progression and shit. The guy is sick at it, but the issue is with maze bank like right you stand there for even hour, with our everything. even with our most valid six people going into maze bank we can't guarantee we come out with the money so it's very hard to rotate the six at the moment because the gang accounts down so bad like the one we sent the other day we needed that money badly but we didn't even make it into the back vault because we just couldn't get it going so it is peak but as soon as that maze bank is like you know, we can go there and we can guarantee we come out of it. Then it's it's easier for us to rotate that. Like as soon as the it, it, that's why it's within your interest to like do things for the gang account and get the gang account up good. Because the faster that we get money in the gang account, the quicker we can take more risks and do stuff like that and switch it. Because I, I I guarantee you, I know there's a good handful of people that would be able to do the PMY and a good handful of people that would be able to do the laptop. What's we the PMY? Is that the memory thing? It's the memory one from yeah, the, the new exchange. scene. But it's on I, I, on the bank. It's a bit quicker, I think. I That's why I think, think it's it a, a few more terror. words too. I don't think it is more words. I think it's just quicker. I did a cast exchange with Zakid and Terry yeah, through like CG's computer. Yeah. And Zakid let me try that memory thing once and I, I did it on my first try. Like, it's okay. not really that I'm, hard. I'm going to say I, it. I think Luke, a lot of people Luke, can Luke, I want you to lock in hacking more, bro, because you're naturally gifted at it from what I've seen. Yeah, I'll get active on it, mate. Especially the PMY, bro. Out, bro with whenever, a whenever you're about and there's a cast exchange, do me a favor, jump on that and get, get, get the practice in because obviously when we go to a bank, you only have three attempts at each door, which is six in total. And each time you, you waste a PMY, you're losing about 10 grand, which obviously is part of it, right? But, uh, you know, if we go there and we burn six PMYs, don't get any money at all. It's just 60K gone and the time it took yeah, for yeah. us to get PMYs. So the, the, get on the, the cash exchange. Yeah, James explained it to me, yeah. The, Laptop is the piss. And the I'll be honest. And, but I'll, I'll piss it, bro. Yeah. Even so you can on the so I'll piss it down. as well. Yeah. Anyone yeah. that doesn't know, the laptop is like, you'll see three different sequences. Each four. sequence could be like, oh, four, sorry. Could be like circle, circle, or circle, triangle. And you can write it down. And then it will ask you like sequence two. Is it shape, row two or shape two. two? Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to like say what it is. So if it was circle, triangle, it'd be triangle. But being able to write it down makes it so much easier. So I think most people could do that. Again, it's just the practice one, isn't it? Just yeah. got to get used to it.
It's like that old laptop. I, I yeah, don't, I don't a, a bit of the laptop can... unknowing because I went into a hack by mistake, uh, the one we done successfully, and it was one of the laptop hacks, and I just had to wing it, and I got it. So, What's that Thermite like that you were struggling on? Why not? The one I the, oh, on. I'm certainly on Thermite now after the last one, bro. I was yeah. banging that it's shit. Good, yeah. yeah, I was banging that, that shit. Anymore. Once you get your head around it, it seems like you guys got it, right? So yeah, easy that's another yeah. practice one. Before but we yeah, move on, I've got on a now. question. Because mm -hmm. I need some enlightenment because maybe I'm misinformed or at least, well, I just don't know. So obviously I went to one of those fucking gun crates yesterday and it was just a shit show, right? Mm. I, I don't understand if we can contest other people's why are we wasting our book coin on starting them is it not just best for like let someone else start and then just contest theirs because the chance is still the same no why don't we do both because we we get each pc we have we get a, a contract every month so why not do that anyway as well as contesting ones we see the, the issue is the only way to know to contest them is if you either sit on the computer all the time looking at the app or you get a tip off oh. that someone's going to hit one yeah oh, okay. it's difficult to right, it's difficult right. to track them to be honest Obviously, the okay. auctions are easy to counter because everyone knows when they end. But like the personal okay. ones are a bit more difficult. Yeah, I was only asking because it's like, to me, if if you're getting counted every single time, then why are you spending the whatever book coin it is? Why don't you just let I'm, someone else start I'm going to be honest, them? right? I got asked to go on the ammo crate, but I'd woke up and there was already six picked, right? I've been to 12 ammo crates, I think, or 11 or some shit, and I've been countered once. Oh. So I kind of just oh, said... I am misinformed then. Pointless. It's pointless for me going... Uh, you know, let let other people have, have like experience in ammo crate. That's why I didn't go. And a typical Hydra can test it, but yeah, it's rare it happens unless it's the auction ones because the whole city knows you're doing the auction one because it was public. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, no, but I'm misinformed. Then. That's that that's the only other one that I've been contested on is the auctioned one because everyone knew about it. And we got contested by CG besties and Hydra all at once, so that was a shit show. I also would like to just pitch: when that happened yesterday, the crate with the pushes strapped up. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, were, yeah. I'll tell you all, what happened was we hit the crate, ballers were circling, and so were Hydra. James got off in the car. We were following Hydra behind. And James, and listen, I, James was screaming, just start shooting. Now, listen, I don't give a fuck what he said to Flippy on the phone. There is no chance that I am just going to start shooting. So I was pitting. Um, and then they started shooting. We returned fire, but at that point, it was a bit unfortunate because James lost his tires. Because I, I just, I don't care. I'm not being the one to just start shooting first. It's just, I just Fucking don't. Fucking do bark it off! With no, the no, listen. You might as well bark it off. I don't care about those guns enough yet to be the one to just start shooting when I haven't <laughs> spoke to anyone, right? I haven't physically spoke to anyone, so it just ain't happening, right? And then, and then we got localed like three times in a really bad spot in, in Mirror Park. And by the time we had caught up to James. He was already out of the car in, in a fucking gunfight. So by the time we had wrapped around, all six Hydra members were just waiting for us. So we were just insta dead. There was nothing we could do. Yeah, I, 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 um... I, I was gonna. The only reason I asked is because I know there's been a couple times that people ain't been strapped. If we do them with the pushes, you should just give them the hot guns. No one should not have a gun, even if they're a pusher. Like, strap them up. Well, for what, like what? six people and only three having guns is from just what Jimmy said. He, he sounded like he, he basically sacked off a bunch of people that didn't have guns and then brought the people that had their own personal ones, but then there was that oh. one person that didn't have their own Percy, so he gave them one. Yeah. Yeah, just give them the hot ones. No biggie if they get caught with it, really. Yeah, not that deep. Well, that um, clears out then, say less. Yeah, so that's everything for the, for the highest thing, but make it like, if you want to learn and practice hacks, like make it known as well, because... I understand everyone's different, but it's it's difficult to read minds. So if people want to do hacking and they want to get experience, they need to come forward and be like outspoken about it. Otherwise, people who are outspoken are going to be able to try it before you. That's just unfortunate, but like that's just how it's going to be. Um, with ammo crates as well, Ramon has a computer in his apartment that's currently got no one on it. So if anyone knows anyone that's not on a HQ app, Get him to join Ramon's so we can get four people on Ramon's HQ app, and then that's another ammo crate. So just keep a lookout for anyone. As well, so you can use that too. Oh, there you go. That's another two then. So yeah, we need eight people then in theory. Um, I've got a question. Yes. It's to do with the forum house, yeah, and the gang fund. Is when that gets sold, is that money straight in gang fund? Yeah. Because I know Kenny's not here, and when. 
uh, obviously Dre's not here either, but when Dre said to me and Kenny that we were selling it, I think Kenny brought up that we like, still owed money from fucking months ago when we first bought it. Yeah, Kenny's Kenny's to be no, he's not owed money from that. Nah, he's, he's owed, owed money he's from owed for the, the mid issue. Oh, well, fuck not. I just I, I would think but, uh, he's like, oh, bring it up. Yeah, no, he's, no, yeah, I hear it. That's he's been what on my sold, mind. That's what I've paid seen first. As well, I'll be honest. We, we need to do... The reason why we needed the maze bank loot is because that maze bank loot would have cleared what we owed Els and what we owed um, Kenny and then put us at a clean slate. So that will be the first things paid is Drade and... Uh, not Drade, Els and Kenny. Yep. Um, right. We have three matching war cars now. Yay! Big up Eli Porter oh. and Dre. They bought us three cars that are all the same whip, all the same color, that are currently in their names. So when we do get into any sort of conflict, we don't have to go and lockpick cars. We have three cars we can use. Yeah, the yeah. Vathmobiles. Thank you, I'd Eli. just like to take this time to just give Eli his flowers. He's a W gang member, does a lot for the gang, carries it a lot behind the scenes. Go on, Shan. Go on, Shan. But boy, um... that. William is He's no longer sense. a hang around, by the way, but he hasn't woke up since we mentioned him. What, oh, is he a full member of? You fucked him off? No, he's, he, he was going to get kicked as a hang around, but since I spoke to Steve about him getting the boot, I haven't seen him since. <laughs> How he's going to get kicked? Does he know that life, by any chance? He just didn't fit with the vibe. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Unfortunately. Oh, um, he didn't make the cut, but I do have names here, right? So I think... Upon Terry's return, I think it's about time we make him a hang around if everyone agrees with that. Yes! That's my yeah. boy! Just give him, you know, make sure he keeps his head screwed on. And it's also on everyone here to point him in the right path and not just say, yes, Terry, yes, Terry, to like his dumb ideas. If he comes yeah, up with bro. a dumb idea, call him a stupid cunt and don't yeah, do it. Because I'm vocalizing oh, it now. Oh, go on, sorry. It, we're bringing him back, obviously, because he's, he's shaped up. But if he fucks up again to a point where we have to remove him again, there will be no coming back. So. It, a, a everyone needs return. to make sure they keep him in check as well, you know. A terror return on a DLD return, yeah, at the same meeting, it's gonna go left when he wakes up, bro. <laughs> There's gonna Someone be a separate conversation be... with him, though, because I'm he gonna make sure he's well collar, aware bro. of what's going on. Get um, him a shock collar and a muzzle or something, bro. But Terry is confirmed to come back as a hangaround. Uh, three other names that I want to make hangarounds that I want to bring to the table is um, Ramon, Kai, and Cami. Opinions on any of those names. I thought we all fear him. I don't know about Ramon after what's yeah. happened today. Personally, it's, it's don't a bit of a know flag, in my opinion. what Ramon's done other than pushing, honestly. So people uh, aren't sure Ramon. Ramon, yeah, I've Ramon seen I, I'm with a the vocalizer. Match, During the war with Hydra, if it wasn't for Ramon and Brayden, we would have had, we would have to call that war off on day one because they were the two people constantly out doing Sani every day, supplying us with materials to enable us to keep making mags, bullets, and guns. Everyone said no to Braden last time. Like, that's what, what I'm saying. What happened earlier like, today? Ramon I... just said on business. That's just who Ramon is. Like that know. sounded like D was like, what's it called? He was he assumed that Ramon was trying to take credit for all the sanity that they just did, and then started getting lippy, and then Ramon didn't like it. That's literally. I will say, yeah, and then wrenched them. Also, yeah. a reality that is also a thing. So, Ramon was reached out to by KJ. And they offered him to join Hades, which is their group, I think. But he basically said he wants to join us and he wouldn't take that offer. But if that, you know, if, if he's lingering too long, he will just join them. So we would be silly not to take to him, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, it's, it's a good show. I, you people I honestly wrong, think, regard, like, just from a, from a non biased point, not thinking about what happened with him today. He has done quite a lot and he's valuable. I think it's worth making him a hang around. To keep him around to see what he's capable of worst case scenario he just goes the william route and he just gets told he didn't make it like i think yeah. people need to remember that hang around isn't like you're I'll locked to in the shop no like someone can become a hang around and get booted a week later like if it's not working it's not working but i do think he right, has I'll done enough to at least get given hang around to see where he goes from there Thanks, so people aren't feeling him they ain't feeling him you know I just yeah, want to bring yeah, it up then, no. Why Why was Brayden and Noah last time then? If that's the, the energy we're going with. I you know? didn't say I, no but, to Brayden. I was about to say the everyone, same. Everyone, said no, said, to, said, every, so. everyone said no to Brayden, Kai, Kami when it was brought up bro. on Grove. And now we're going with the energy. Let's just do it anyway. Like, so That's so what I'm for saying. Me, for me, like I know 
I know Ramon a bit more than the others. And also with Brayden, I didn't say no to Brayden. I just don't really know Tammy and Kai, but that's just- I don't think everyone said really no to Brayden, but there was a lot of people vocal against it. But why? I yeah. think, I think it was- Our, our people, 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 people said it because they didn't know him. Yeah, my, my thing with Mo, because I didn't know him, and I'll be honest, I didn't realize how valuable these like, people that do a bit of sanity and shit behind the scenes, like, I didn't realize how valuable they were, to be honest, in terms of like getting bullets and supplies and shit. Right. That was my reason for like, being against it. I'm gonna be real, yeah. I know Brayden the most out of everybody. He's just the type of guy, he's quite quiet, so obviously people aren't gonna know him, but he also doesn't want to seem like he's pushing it, and he doesn't want to seem like he's uh, up you lot's ass. He does want to be in the gang, but he just doesn't want to push it, but he would do anything. I mean, why don't you just add Brayden to the list and with them, no? Yeah, what I was about to say is I, I will... You and Bones. I would say just have Brayden, Kai, Ramon, Cami. If some of them don't work out, some of them don't work out. Just give all of those a chance and see where they go. Another solid one there, though, is Kai. I vouch for Kai a lot, but I've known that guy for ages, like, since he first, first started pushing, like, when Junior introduced me to him. He's a solid, solid guy. Him. Like, he's got a good head on his shoulders and shit. I like that Kai a lot, me. I think as well, maybe making some of these people hang around, you might see a different side of them. They might get to know them better. They might, yeah. yeah, they might be more inclined to spend time with everyone because they don't feel that they have to be standoffish. It's a bit of a two-way street, right? Like they, they, they try and do things, and then if we give them an opportunity, they'll see it as okay. They actually do fuck with me, and they'll open up a lot more. Like for me personally, people like Braden, you know, he's very open to me because at this point he knows me. But he's a, like, like Blondie said, I feel like he's just afraid to get that close to everyone else because look he doesn't want to... Look at how wanna... I was. Look at how I yeah. was months ago. Like, oh, I could barely get, I could barely get Blondie down to the block, to bro. She used to pull up uh, four houses down and wait for me. To... Well, everyone's built the same, do you know what I mean? It just takes a little time. Plus, we are like a pretty like big group in terms of how many members are. It's hard for someone to get to know every single fucking person, do you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, well, then, um, if everyone's in agreement, we'll give all of those names a chance. We'll bring them all in, like, by the end of this week. On the note of Start adding next. more people, um, what are we? What's happening with like the Ricky situation? I don't know if everyone's aware of that because what's adding the Ricky more situation? people. Is... What do you mean, Ricky what situation? Ricky? I don't know well, if it's Steve or Sparky wants to elaborate, but it's Ricky has got well, Steve, you know, Steve spoke to him, so he'll know yeah. more. Uh, Ricky spoke to me on a on a bit of a personal thing, saying that he feels left out. Um, and basically feels like people don't want to hang out with him and shit, and that the only people he want, that want to hang out with him is Terry. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a techie one, because I don't think that's the case at all, but also... Go on, Bones. I'm gonna keep it a buck, bro. I'll be awake this storm and next storm. I see Ricky yep. pull up. Yep. He might say, hey, what's up? And then he goes and does his own thing. Yeah, yeah. I, was about, I was about it's, to say... It's like, yeah. it's both, like, it's on it's, some... I don't really ask him to hang out like that, but like, I'm trying to get a car and shit. But like, he don't ask either, so it's like I think I that's what I said even, to him. I said he and that... DJ's at the hospital, bro. Like we just got stabbed at the hospital. He pulls up, yo, I love both of y'all, and then he just walks off. Like he didn't like. I didn't even, I've asked even know him he was to awake. come chop multiple times, and he just says no. So so I, like, I said it's, to it's Steve, yeah. I think one thing with Ricky as well right now is I think his frustrations, um, his burnout might be a bit more with the city itself than necessarily the group. No, but I mean, he, he doesn't like doing a lot of chop and like pushing. That's what I mean. That, that's more why I say creative that. Creative guys that would go on the creative DLDs and come up. With but that's ideas why bringing that back like. also could help it, and that's why I want to make sure we're doing creative plans and stuff so that those people that you know need that can can have fun with it. I will say I did have you know I had a conversation with uh, James the other day, um, and I've also brought this up to you as well, SK. But like uh, regarding inclusivity, getting everybody involved in shit, but it is two-way street you know people will go out their way to ask you but oh God, you gotta do the same like I i'm one of I'm, I'm one of the worst you. ones for you know only chilling with a set group of people you know I i'll be honest i uh we were looking for who owned the new four by four earlier and i didn't even know dre's full name so i couldn't search him in the fucking mdw oh, you know oh, what i mean oh. like <laughs> you know it says a lot right it says a lot nah. so it's like you know it's a two-way street really but i think everybody knows that like realistically when the gang gets this big you kind of have to you you kind of have to force your way in a little bit it's not a case of yeah. oh hey can i can i come and chill with you please it's more like yo what are you doing i'm i'm rolling yeah like people aren't going to say no but you, you, you know it's tough you got to you got to put your foot in the door and you know not even foot in the door you got to walk through the motherfucking door and just it is what it is 
That also comes down to the creating things, though, because if you've got more people creating different things and and doing different shit that's enjoyable every day there's more people to go join if you're relying on the same five four or however many people to come up with something to do then oh. there's never going to be enough slots to to get shit done you know if you've got all of us are always constantly coming up with ideas and fun things to do and ways to push the gang but also like enjoy it then there's you know there's no reason why we can't have three different sixes doing three different things also and just all need of them to having fun. work hard, but then also make time to spend time with each other. Like, you see when we was all on the boat yesterday? That was so much fun before shit went left. Like, just doing random it shit. It went man. left. I was about Alex, yeah? He just, I got caught with a gun that Alex gave me, yeah? And he got fined 40k for it this morning. and <laughs> got fucking done from me having his gun. It was <laughs> a bone at him. When we were all in jail before, I seen him in there and explained it to me. Guys are done. Yeah. Well... Yeah, let's just try to come up with cool shit and get everyone involved. I think that's important. One thing I, I want to make everyone aware of. Last. This right here, this next one, it's not really like a big deal. We'll just keep an eye on it. Um, I'm not naive to it. The ballers are back. I don't know how long that's going to be for. Could be a 15 minute, could be a two weeker, could be a six monther. But <clears throat> the way they've been talking about the ex ballers that are with us, Seems like they're very upset that they live in an area that they, you know, their law states is theirs and it's not theirs. So be very anticipating of them trying to eventually do some shit, whether that's make a move or think I've they can come try the and take through. the turf, stuff like that. Like, I'm not saying we're going out there beefing them. I'm just saying keep your enemies close, innit? Because I know for a fact, the fact that we are in the cul-de-sac and that we have more houses and they don't really have no motion down there, that hurts them. So... Just keep an eye on that. Yeah, me and Max put the windows through. That being said, are we gonna try and help build them still or no? No. Oh, huh? We're we're gonna be friends with them, but we're keeping them at an arm's length. Because James we've needs heard to hear that, then I'm gonna be we, honest. James is aware. Please. Okay. So Clive an, an has example. also been very aware of it. James like uh, Clive is actually one of the people, people that have said information. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's one of those. Just keep an eye on it. Like, it's not a focal point right now, but just be aware that that could pop off at any point. Also, while we've got everyone here, could you, a lot of people here don't know about this Vargo shit, Blondie. So now is a good time to just bring that to the table. I don't think Steve knows either. Um, no, so. just the other day, they just, uh, Lex tried to press me for doing Goober Eats, and I even asked him, so dude, fuck you, Preston, and he said he was pressing me. You knew that um but since then i mean luke went to speak to him i have seen him though sk i saw him today i tried to do a sneaky one on goober and um <laughs> two of them came running over and i told him to let lex know i said hello and then i went down there again with luke and then i saw lex and he said it was okay but i need to just have a proper conversation with him did they bitch out yeah no he was fine i've got mostly tldr of what happened is blondie was doing goober eat she called one of the vargos EU storm to make sure it was blessed. Went back there and a storm doing the same thing. And Lex came over to her, pressed her, and said, "You need to make a call. Why aren't you calling all of this while Blondie's wearing a mana mask, right? Giving it the big ones." And then what happened when you went down there, then Luke? I just basically went. I didn't really go to try and squash no shit or like speak on anyone's part. I just went to see what happened, and then they basically explained it and said it's not that much of a big deal. We just like want people to check in because like we don't know what people are doing. We don't know if they're in a weed room. We don't need police down here, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I was like, yeah, I get it. Like, it's your turf, blah, blah, blah. And then I just smoked a joint with him. And five minutes later, I led a police chase through with Little Barrio and ran Ely over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then I went yeah, to David Bondi and that pretty chill. Don't do that. Sound that deep. Don't, yeah. don't, don't be bringing a police chase for a gang turf because we literally sit and complain about how McGregor is a dickhead for doing it. So oh, you're not going to do it. The Barrio Classic's undefeated, though, bro. You don't understand. It don't, it don't matter, bro. You have no leg to stand on to complain about McGregor if you're going to go do it yourself to somebody else. Lex is a bit moody. I'm going to speak to him probably though one day. I'm just going to go and have a conversation. I'll go down there a lot though and check him in. Like, if you want to get bored, I'll just pull up and see what they're doing, see if I can go and cut some grass and whatnot and just chat shit to him. Like, they're actually all right when you get chatting to them. They're not bad people, but just boneheads. Like. Yeah, they've always been like that with the barrier. I'm not going to lie. They're all right, man. They just, all they want is people to like just like... I'll take pissed on that, but where's your signing sheet? And then they just say, you just ring up, like, and then next to army, you just ring up again, because it might be different people around who don't know what you're doing. Probably a big deal, but if they try and make it a big deal, I'll just fucking... 
Roll Jimmy's, bro. Where's awesome. bless him? That is most... I think that's pretty much everything I have on my notepad. You got anything to bring up, Steve? Um, just off the back of the conversation with Ricky, um, like like Sparky's kind of already said it. We can't read minds, but if you if anyone's feeling a type of way about certain shit, um, uh, bring it to us. And I don't mean I know bringing it at a meeting like this is not something you'd want to do, but you know, uh, feel free to approach like come speak to me on a one on one thing, and vocalize shit like that because I try, but I can't read your minds. So if people have issues or or problems with shit like that then i need you to come and tell me about it otherwise it'll just get worse get worse don't don't look turn around turn around i've okay. also got a good ear so if you want to listen it's often that i spend an hour on the phone to some of you lot having to listen to you complain about shit in it and if you want to do that you're more than welcome to you know i can i can sit and listen to people complain for a while i don't mind Anyone get it off your chest i'm gonna die yeah thank you uh, in that case, anyone have any questions or concerns right now they want to bring up in front of I the group? do have one more thing that I need to bring up. Okay. Fucking hell! We've this got guy's a shut thief! Up. We've Thank got you. a thief, listen. Oh, We've yeah, got me. a thief. What? Oh, no, just listen, please. Like, actually, we have a thief, okay? Somebody, and, it, and I don't think it's anyone here, but obviously I'm saying it here for obvious reasons. Somebody is going into our store and taking the produce and they're leaving with it or they're selling it or they're doing something with it, which might not sound like a big deal, but I spent four and a half hours from fucking half seven till 12 o'clock today having to get produce again because somebody is stealing it. So I need to know who the fuck is going in there, either whether it be next storm or this storm, and I want to know who's going in there and just not working, because the store made $300 yesterday, which is one and a half combos, but all of the produce and the pizzas and everything has gone. So somebody's going in there and taking shit. So if you see people going in there and they're not working or just going in there in general, I don't fucking care who it is, tell me or Eli, because... And with that being said, if mid, if you want to stick up some fucking cameras and do some investigating, you're more than welcome Ooh. to. Because it's, it's starting to piss me the fuck off because, like, it's wasting my time. You know what I mean? Is it I'm food? No, no, it's the no, produce. It's the it's produce. Right. produce. Right. No, no, so the thing is, yeah, the thing is, yeah, what, one, one day I wake up. It's not funny, innit? Nah, wasting my fucking time. I wake up and, like, half the ingredients are gone, so it, and there's nothing that's been sold. And then another day I'll, I'll go in and then all the kimchi is gone, but everything else is still there. <laughs> It's just, the only it's people just... that work there late night early morning Some is Rick and Raj. So yeah, yeah, not like... Yo, just FYI, uh, I got man. the pussy here. Uh, they're all here right now. Okay, yeah, we're we'll just wrapping up for me. Yeah, now, we'll probably... Get it, though. It's nothing I'll be, to do I'm with being that. realistic. By the time I get this wrapped up, everyone food and drinks, they don't die. And then there, it'll probably be 20 minutes. I'm having to wake up and spend four hours of my fucking morning to get that place okay. set up so people can work there. We'll and realistically, no okay. one fucking okay. works there, yeah. right? That's Myself it. included, because we're, we're doing other shit. No one works there. Then I go back like six hours later and half the fucking produce is gone. So is it, somebody, who, somebody's who stealing Who actively it. opens it? It's like I haven't even been rehired. Oh, what about that? Bella, Stella. Ramon. Bella, Stella. Um, and it's not, no. is, is, it, is it not a case of people Ramon over Ramon cooking and like, days ago? No, no. <laughs> there's a kimchi okay, bandit so, uh, on the loose. Nah, the thing is, the thing is, okay, there's been there's been two times where some where someone's admitted that they've left the shop and forgot that they had the produce on them, but they haven't done it again. But it's just like every other day or every day, this shit missing that shouldn't be missing. Like I don't understand it. Yeah, like it's like mm. so and the thing is, right, realistically, you the, the the produce is worth a bit of money, but it's nothing to do with the money. It's my fucking time getting up at seven AM to to do that shit for people to work down there and then for some fucking cunt to come in and just take half of the shit, and I don't know if they're throwing it, selling it, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with it, but it's but getting what, to a point I, where... I don't get what they'd be using it for. Have, have you well, got exactly. anyone employed it's there? Rick, man. So this no, this it's, is it's, one it's thing not, I was going to say. Have you got anyone employed there that has benefit to taking them? Because mm -hmm. ultimately, right, Bro, but Rick surely there's no one in the group that steals Rick. salami and like... It's... <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, it is not Rick, because Rick is literally doing stock takes for me and sending me pictures of everything that he leaves. Mm -hmm. That's too and much. you got to remember as well <laughs> that the, that this produce is worth a lot of money. Like one fucking thing goes for like 30 to 50 per. So when they're stealing five, 600 of them, you know what I mean? I mean, let me Can do I the math on that. Can I pitch an idea to you? 
That's just 30k. Fire. That why don't you? Taken. Why don't you just fire everyone who works there that doesn't yeah. actively work and see if it stops? If it continues, then that. you've We've shortened done the list. We've done that twice that because the problem yeah. is nobody's actively working. So I, who I, hasn't I been fired then? We so I, brought, I fired everyone. You fired everyone. But it still you happened. Haven't. You haven't. No. Oh, because we ended up rehiring people. So that's what I'm saying then. 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 You need to literally no, 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 just no, no. completely right, listen, cleanse the employment on, list on, and leave pause, it as pause, the, pause, the people pause, that run it. Pause, pause, pause. Right. Jay fired everyone other than the manor, and then the next day, shit still went missing. So, so it's what? someone who isn't in the manor? Jay now, Max, okay. Now, let, um, I will Luke say... Are still employed there. Yeah, they were in the manor. I, I, I fired everybody. That I, ain't. No, oh. so the, let's say there is a slim chance, yeah, that stuff is going bad or it's scuff. But it didn't happen before, and then the price of all the produce went up to 50 per, and now all of a sudden shit is just missing. Half of the produce, all of one particular produce. Like the kimchi is the most annoying shit to do out of the bunch. That's the one that keeps going missing the most. So basically, when I find out, someone's getting the fucking hands cut off, isn't it? Because it's starting to piss me the fuck off because it's wasting Oi. my time. Like, it's not the money, it's the time. It's four hours every morning that I'm doing that shit for somebody to come in and fucking take it. And I'm just going to stop doing it. Jay, just fire one person every day until it stops happening. No, that's way, too easy to, that's way too easy to bypass that because as soon as someone hears that's happening and they're the one doing it, they'll just stop robbing it when someone gets fired and then everyone will be like, oh, it was this person. And they would rehire everyone and they just start robbing again. Oh, like I say, you all yeah, know now, so if you see someone going in and out, right, or whatever, or people that are working there, just let me know, please, just text me. I don't care how long they was there for, because we're keeping an eye on it. Because eventually, it will just be a case of, fine, the store will just be indefinitely shook. I'm not wasting four hours of my morning for someone else to steal the shit and sell it to someone else. So is that what you think is happening? Someone's selling it to somebody else? The only person that Brother, I think yeah. that is Rick. I'm going to be honest. I know you guys that like, love him so much, but like... It's, it's not... It's there's not no reason why any... Do you really think like Bella, Yuki and that are selling veg to other people? That's, that's nuts. No, man. because they, they were fired when it was gone. Yeah, but I swear yeah, Rick was also that fired that Rick when it was gone. Yeah, exactly. So who was hired when it, when it was gone? Only Mr. Manor. The only, only manor. people that... The only people that were hired when... So I... I had enough one day and I fired everyone except people that are in the manor. Not hang around, not fucking pushers, shit. manor. It's I woke up here? the next day and shit was still gone. Now, like I say, there is a chance, a very, very slim chance that it could be scuffing out or it could be dying, which I say very slim because it wasn't doing it a few weeks before. So, yeah, that is that. I, I, it's okay. giving Luke. Okay. We, we, oh, that's you pending me? investigation. <laughs> it's mad, mad how the, the, the topic that got everyone in the gang most riled up today is that. Like, I'm getting bro, PTSD so many to the corn things. incident, bro. Oh, no. Holy and this, is, and uh, this is the, this is the most. Oh, I've got something to bring up. up. I've well. got something to bring up, yeah? I want Barrio, and I'm chatting shit to him, asking him what they've been doing. And that Healy or Heli, whatever his name is, the big massive cunt. He was like, oh, I've been doing lumberjacking. I said, oh, yeah, what, what have you been doing that for? Does it pay good? And I didn't really get the details, but he told me if you're doing that, it's so rare that you'll find one. But if you find a high quality tree, it's worth something like up to 100 grand just for the one tree. But they're so hard no, to find. No, no, it's, it's 800 a plank. Yeah, but he told me 100 grand. So I just it's, thought I'd put it out there. It's 800 a plank. Yeah, so I'm just How many planks to, in so a tree? Uh, I don't know when it's, when it's high quality. I haven't done that in a while. On car. <laughs> It's hard to find, but that it's, it's 800 per because I literally bought some yesterday. Interesting. Okay. Which is a big difference from the 15 per. Wait, the before we part, I need to uh, just quickly go to our side division. Any mid news need to be brought forward to the table? Uh, the mayor and his wife have been fucking impeached. Uh, there's oh, also whoa. been it's also been outed now that they've been in a gang the whole time. Yeah, what? I have what? the, I have Wait, the mayor's yeah. card. So they are shadow members of a gang based in Polito called C4. Uh, oh, one of the shit. yeah. So Why did they choose got, that gang out of all of them? Uh, well, I mean, the irony being is that gang originally got in the news because they picked up and tortured Siobhan like the first month we all came back to the city, and now somehow they're best friends in the gang together. Mm. Oh, publicity stunts. Yes, that ploy to make it look like they're not. Yeah. Me, me and Terry have a SIM card from one I of them they because they snitched on us doing DLD once. 
Oh, nice. Well, I mean, I mean that's great, but uh, the founding member uh, has pretty much come forward to the police after some um, <clears throat> coercion from Mr. K. Uh, and uh, he's just fucking laid it all bare, laid everything out there. Is so, that like, actually true, or is it like... He no, no, it's just uh... no, no. It's it's true. I mean, I, I was told by uh, Roman Atlas, who's a lawyer, maybe two weeks ago. That's my that lawyer. Siobhan... He's a good, he's a good guy. Uh, but yeah, he told me about two weeks ago that Siobhan was hanging around C4 extensively and selling weed with them. First Temple was a founding member, and he is her private PI. So, um, but yeah, no, yeah, so they've been outed like publicly as being gang affiliated, which means um, they're both. Well, I mean, she's been suspended from her PD role; she can no longer be PD. And they're both being impeached by uh, Murphy Braun. So he's so, still mayor? Uh, well, he won't be. He's been impeached. I mean, if they follow the protocol they followed with me, so then, then who's they're mayor both going to get. You? Uh, I'm suspended. Oh. Although, although my statute of limitations ran out on my case, so no charges. So does that mean you get your job back? Uh, there's a strong argument I should get it back because I imagine they were waiting on me to so go. Don't go any food. <laughs> I've just seen that yeah. stumble and yeah, like they do LA rumblings. <laughs> oh, Junior's still know. alive, by the way. I think Blondie saw him this morning. Yeah, he, he I saw him yesterday, yeah, yesterday bro. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, leave him alone unless you. he causes yeah, issues. Ignore, but ignore, yeah, he's about. Uh, Guys, I have a man. Other than that, the uh, the building should be finished in the next two or three days. Elia's just nice. she's, she's she's completely smashed out the bottom floor, and she's probably third of the way through the top floor now. Oh. Nice. Okay, mm -hmm. um, I gotta speed this up because we don't want to be under pressure. Uh, we now gotta leave here and we gotta go to all of us need to make our way to the. Sorry, I got wrong text. To the uh, airport hangar. Man, I guess so, bro. Why does this feel like a year six leave? Um, my my, my thing was a chaperone. My, my hangar today because oh. they're all around.